Hitler wants to break the chains of the Versailles Treaty. This is his declared foreign policy goal. 1919, the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles. Following the end of the First World War, the Allied victors assigned Germany sole responsibility for causing the war. The treaty stipulates conceding of territory to the newly restored Poland, the return of Alsace-Lorraine to France, establishment of a demilitarized zone in the West, reduction of military forces to 100,000 men, high reparation costs. In May 1933, Hitler declares to the Reichstag, We also respect and honor the national rights of other peoples and desire from the bottom of our hearts to live among them in peace and friendship. Foreign powers underestimate Hitler and view him as a young Wilhelm II. Only his facial hair is different. Few recognize his potential for using violence. Not even André François Poncy, the French ambassador in Berlin. To him, Hitler appears dull and mediocre. Hitler is nothing but a small town Mussolini. The new government in Berlin presents itself as peace loving. In July 1933, a pact is signed with the Vatican. It protects the interests of the Catholic Church and ensures its internal autonomy in Germany a treaty that improves Hitler's international reputation. Several months later, disarmament talks at the League of Nations in Geneva. Hitler pursues the revisionist policies of the Weimar Republic. He wants to rearm, whereas France and England are to disarm. In light of recent political developments in Germany, France refuses to accept. For Hitler, it is a welcome excuse to pull Germany out of the League of Nations.